What do you say, Andrea? Are you ready to see some national costumes? Of course, and the audience is ready too. Let's get to it. The Miss Universe National Costume Competition begins with Albania. This national costume embodies Albanian culture with handmade embroidered geographic details and jewelry that has been in this contestant's family for centuries. This embroidered rules and so do her jewels. Albania! Argentina. Made from recycled plastic, this icy costume represents the melting glaciers in her country caused by global warming. It's a reminder to take care of the environment so it can continue to take care of us. As the earth gets hot, she melts a lot. Argentina. Armenia. This costume represents the most beloved goddess of the kingdom of Ararat, Arubani. Arubani was a goddess of love, arts, and crafts. Armenia believes that the light of love and art will thwart evil and end the wars of the world. Love and art sets her apart. Armenia. Aruba. This costume represents Aruba's aloe vera. The country's coat of arms even features the plant in one of its quadrants. For 125 years, Aruba has grown the world's finest aloes, which are used in skincare and medicine. You're not shallow if you love aloe like Aruba. Australia. This costume celebrates Mother Nature. It showcases Australia's vast expanses of oceans contrasted with red earth and vibrant native botanicals. It includes beaded kangaroo paws 
molded seat, heavily encrusted and molded to the figure. Beauty and wonder, away you down under, in Australia. costume was inspired by the rich heritage and culture of Bahrain as the pearl diving capital of the Middle East. It symbolizes how a pearl comes out from a shell that is flawed on the outside, but beauty lies within. Just out of her shell, this pearl looks well, Bahrain. but adopted by a Belgian family. Kat is wanted to celebrate both countries. The body of her costume represents Belgium's flag, but her wing shows Ethiopia's colors. Her DNA is a veritable rainbow of African heritage. Half Ethiopian, but also Somali, Maasai, and more. A wing and a feather go perfect together. Belgium. Bolivia. This national costume was created to help raise awareness of the deforestation facing Bolivia. Known as the Lung of South America, close to 25 million acres were burned in Bolivia in 2020 alone. Her roots run deep in South America, so it's very important to her to preserve her ancestral home. Won't you please stop burning trees in Bolivia? is an ode to the tree that named her country, the Brazil wood, or Paw Brazil, a species of flowering plant in the legume family. The Brazil wood is the country's national tree, as well as a national treasure, since it's the largest and most biodiverse in South America. We don't mean to rant, but she's a fan of this plant, Brazil.
British Virgin Islands. This sustainable costume pays homage to the humble crocus bag. In the British Virgin Islands, crocus bags were once used to carry goods. She herself carries traces of her heritage from across four continents, Africa, Asia, Europe, and North America. Thanks to some creativity, a recycled, discarded sack was fashioned into this wonderful garment. For a fashion hack, try a burlap sack, like British Virgin Islands. Bulgaria. Here we have a colorful Bulgarian folk costume, complemented by ornaments. The skillful and intricate warmingship is seen as a sign of social status. A crown of flowers complements a traditional look. A fitting, a fitting costume for a Miss Bulgaria whose My Heritage DNA results show strong Balkan and East European lineage. Tonight she shows traditional clothes, Bulgaria. Cambodia. This costume was inspired by Lakhon Kal, a traditional mask used during theater performances in the Kingdom of Cambodia. The mask is believed to date back to the 10th century. It's no easy task to dress up in a mask like Cambodia.
This majestic costume is made of native materials and showcases the Queen Lioness. But as well with thousands of Swarovski crystals, it features two drums that symbolize over 200 ethnic groups. If you'd like to dress like a royal lioness, see Cameroon! Canada. Here we have the Mountie, a costume paying tribute to the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Canada's National Police Force represents safety and security, and this modern look was created using silk, lace, and Swarovski crystals. She'll be sure to keep us secure, Canada. national flower, the wild banana orchid. It is found only in the Caymans and grows on all three islands in April and May. It's quite unique, just like this contestant, whose ancestry traces back to the British Isles and Eastern Europe. When her flowers in bloom, she lights up the room. Cayman Islands! was inspired by the Palomitas from La Ligua, a group of women dressed in white who bake cakes and wave handkerchiefs to potential buyers in passing cars. It pays tribute to enterprising Chilean women. And Miss Chile, Universe is an excellent representative of Chilean women. Her My Heritage DNA results show her roots in Chile go back generation. No one's cranky when she waves her hanky, Chile. is the national flower of China, and you'll see them featured on the sleeve of this traditional clothing. On the front, you'll notice a pattern of clouds and cranes. Striking a pose in traditional clothes, it's China.
Colombia. Colombia is a land of fantasy with world-class coffee and majestic landscapes. Exalting the beauty of the fictional town of Macondo, this design frames the beauty of the well-known yellow butterflies that are symbols of fantasy and fortune. Emerging from her cocoon to make us all swoon, it's Colombia. Costa Rica. This look was inspired by the blue morpho butterfly that lives in the undergrowth of Costa Rica. It represents the beauty of Costa Rican women, their bravery and courage to rise above any obstacle. Yes, it's true. This butterfly is blue. Costa Rica. Croatia. This costume was handmade in Dubrovnik and represents the natural beauty of the area. It consists of three components, the Adriatic Sea, the islands surrounding the area, and a cravat, a cloth tie that originates from Croatia. It's her duty to show her country's beauty, Croatia. Curacao. In the last 30 years, 50% of all coral reefs have disappeared. This national costume represents the beauty of Curacao Sea life through the burning red fire coral. It promotes awareness of the vulnerability due to global warming. This universality of her message is reflected in her diverse regions from all over Africa, Europe, and Central and South America. Saving coral reefs aligns with her beliefs. Curacao. Czech Republic. As a supporter of women's rights, this contestant's costume screams, I'm one voice, but together we can roar. It shows what it means to have the heart of a lion, which is the spirit of the Czech people. Perhaps it's also a nod to her English heritage because her DNA shows she's 20% English. If you're trying to meet the perfect lion, see Czech Republic. Thank you. 
Consists of a recycled red coat, covered with over 2,000 stones and reused gold tassels made from goo. The tall hat is made with fake fur and has a braided gold sheen piece. Recycling is not hard for this royal guard, Denmark. Okay, now we have Czech Republic. This looks more like a lion. All right, as a supporter of women's rights, this contestant's costume screams, I'm one voice, but together we can roar. It shows what it means to have the heart of a lion, which is the spirit of the Czech people. Perhaps it's also a nod to her English heritage because her DNA shows she's 20% English. If you're trying to meet the perfect lion, See Czech Republic. I think it was better the second time. What do you think? I think so. Good job, Nick. Dominican Republic. The sun reigns supreme in the Dominican Republic. It has always been a source of inspiration, art, and industry. The dress was inspired by the golden color of the sun and encourages the world to consider solar energy as an alternative fuel and electricity. It's quite fun to worship the sun like Dominican Republic. the goddess of fertility. This design was handcrafted without any bird feathers to support the fight against animal abuse. Pachamama is revered by the indigenous peoples of the Andes. With a fog feather bodice, she's a fertility body. Goddess, Ecuador. Salvador. This costume was inspired by a Salvadoran monument representing a peaceful era that has become a meeting point for anti-violence marches. The hands and candles pay tribute to the country's numerous femicides. May the violence cease so she's at peace. El Salvador.
Equatorial Guinea. Made with traditional African fabric worn by her ancestors, this costume highlights the culture and identity of Equatorial Guinea in a modern way and represents empowered women of the Bantu tribe. The sweet colors represent those on her country's flag. This contestant's vowed to make her ancestors proud. Equatorial Guinea. for this look came from a drawing this contestant made when she was 12. In the illustration, the sun is eating a melting globe, which is on top of an ice cream cone. It's a clever interpretation of how climate change is affecting the world, especially Finland, where her family has lived for generations. Our minds were blown by this ice cream cone, Finland. pays tribute to entertainer Josephine Baker. She was an activist and feminist who fought for equality between men and women. She was also Jewish and had a real message of peace. This costume does make her look like Josephine Baker. Germany. This gossip is inspired by a country that loves, dreams, and believes. Decorated with thousands of Austrian and Czech Swarovski crystals, it features the Imperial Eagle taken from the German shield as a representation of strength. Adorned with an eagle, this queen sure looks regal, Germany. Ghana. 
This green goddess costume is symbolic of Ghana's national heritage. The green gown represents the country's national, natural vegetation. The headdress is from the Akan tribe. And the sleeves are made from fishing castnet. The ear cuffs denote prosperity. She can hide her obvious pride in Ghana. Just for kicks, we're going to bring out El Salvador one more time. This time without the mask. It was her task to remove that mask, El Salvador. Discovering she's a bit Italian, her My Heritage DNA results show her strong origins in Great Britain. This costume shoulder and headpiece reflect the three national flowers of Great Britain, daffodils for Wales, thistles for Scotland, and roses for England. Everyone knows she makes a great rose, Great Britain. represents Athena, the daughter of Zeus in body armor. Athena was worshipped as a goddess of wisdom, knowledge, strategy, and war. The look comes complete with a shield and spear. You've got nothing to fear. She's got a shield and a spear. Greece.
Guatemala. This recycled costume is inspired by a Mayan goddess and a peaceful relationship with Israel. Guatemala was the second country to officially recognize Israel, and 70 years later was the second to acknowledge Jerusalem as Israel's capital. Israel is fond of their shared bond with Guatemala. the Pearl of the Antilles due to its natural beauty and biodiversity. The blue and red represent the colors of the Haitian flag, while rhinestones symbolize the gold once found on the island and the treasure that lies within its people. This Haitian girl is a true hidden pearl, Haiti. Multicolored costume represents a variety of things. The green stands for hope, the yellow wisdom, black is for mourning, blue for the goddess of the sea, red for the god of war and peace, and white for wise souls. Her multicultural origins stretch from South America to Finland and Africa to Asia, making this colorful costume the perfect fit. Each color brings different things to Honduras. forward way because she has a lot of pride in her beautiful country. We don't mean to brag, but she's got a great flag. Hungary!
Iceland. Iceland is known as the land of fire and ice, and an active volcano close to Reykjavik erupted in 2021. Over 20,000 registered earthquakes preceded the event, and more than 140 million cubic meters of lava have been spewed. This fiery and frigid island has been home to our ancestors for centuries, according to her My Heritage DNA results. Made of fire and ice, and everything nice, it's Iceland. is a regal and royal visual representation of a woman. While it showcases the royal Indian queen, its mirror and umbrella elements are symbolic of the protective instinct of a woman. This womanly look has also all shook India. costume represents a healthcare hero. Kat has worked in the nursing field since she was 17 and aims to pay homage to healthcare workers for their service during the pandemic. We're not averse to a wonderful nurse like Ireland. The hometown delegate, Israel. Shalom proves that any material is sustainable for the fashion industry with this recycled dress made from thousands of old coins. The look is reminiscent of scales, fitting because the fish is an auspicious symbol in Israel tradition. A culture that blends Ashkenazi with Sephardic Jewish roots, just like Noah's origins. It was her wish to become a shell of fish. Israel.
Italy. The great star, popularly known as Stallone, is a five-pointed symbol that has represented Italy for many centuries. It, date back, it dates back to a time when Venus, associated with the West as an evening star, identified the Italian peninsula. My Heritage identified more than just Italian heritage in her DNA, revealing roots in West Asia. You'll go far if you're a rising star like Italy. Jamaica. Southern Jamaica's St. Elizabeth, or St. Bess, is inspiration for this national costume. It celebrates the rich resources of the parish and region. Appleton rum, white sugar, and pepper trim, to name a few. Even richer is the tapestry of regions in her DNA, Europe, Middle East, and Africa. She must confess, she loves and best, Jamaica. Japan. With deep roots in Japan and throughout Asia, Jury is celebrating the incredible Japanese Harajuku fashion culture with this costume. She's also saluting Eurovision Song Contest winner and Israeli pop star Neda, who honored Japanese culture by wearing a kimono on the world stage. A shout out to Neda doesn't get any better. Japan. costume is rich with natural ornaments that display respect for local flora. The red color of the dress symbolizes fire, and the hat is encrusted with gold and precious stones. You'll obsess over her fire dress, Kazakhstan. Kenya. This mermaid gown was inspired by sustainable living. The dress features cutouts of her favorite flowers, the top is made from eco-friendly fish leather, and the midriff is texturized by recycled material from the sea in the colors of the Kenyan flag. Many threads are woven into the fabric of her heritage, which can be traced across five continents. For what it's worth, she loves the earth Kenya.
we have Hong Bon Sam, as the queen wore it during the Shan Sun Dynasty. The dress is embroidered with gold colored thread and takes years to make. The big wooden headpiece shows the power and dignity of the queen. We've never seen such a powerful queen, Korea. This traditional costume has been modernized for the present day. Considered appropriate attire for a wedding, this black and gold outfit is something every woman in Kosovo would be proud to wear on her special day. The marriage between modern and traditional Kosovo is a perfect fit for this contestant, whose DNA shows she has strong roots in the region. She's Balkan with a Greek and South Italian mix. When she weds, she'll turn heads. Kosovo. Inspired by the national flower of Laos, Dog Champa. The costume is symbolic of the unity of the nation, a place where kindness can be found throughout the Golden Land. It sure is grand to the Pika Golden Land, like Laos. coming down the center that surprised me. This costume here symbolizes the famous statue of Malta Triumphant, a strong and powerful woman. It also celebrates September 8th's Victory Day, commemorating big moments in Maltese history, including World War II's fascist surrender in 1943. She'll celebrate on September 8th, Malta!
This eco-friendly costume is a tribute to the handicraft workers on Rodriguez Island, a Mauritian territory. The products they make are found in the local markets and are an attraction to the booming tourism industry of the island. With the greatest style on the entire aisle, Mauritius! Okay, Andre, you may have heard of this next country. I think so. Mi Mexico lindo y querido. The inspiration behind this costume is an ancient Aztec culture and the great people of Mexico. Covered in porcelain pearls and crystals, the look is tied together with dyed feathers from the birds of the region. Her heritage ties together her Mexican lineage with Mediterranean origins from Spain, Italy, Greece, and North Africa. This is the queen demands to be seen, Mexico! Morocco. This velvet green captain is a color of Islam and symbolic of Morocco's advocation of for peace. The traditional look represents elegance and royalty, and the 12th century jewelry takes us back in time while putting forth the country's history. She's a lovely queen in a captain that's green. Morocco. Namibia. The largest solar sea salt company in sub-Saharan Africa is located in Chelsea's hometown. This costume is an ode to the hues of the pink salt and the flamingos that embody her country's culture. We really think that Chelsea loves pink Namibia.
This costume pays tribute to the balance with nature, incorporating ethnic symbolism found in Nepal's three topographical regions of mountains, hills, and plains. The impressive three-branch headpiece completes the look. Give her a ring if nature's your thing. Nepal! Netherlands. Female athletes deserve more attention for their greatness and accomplishments. And female Dutch athletes have proven themselves unstoppable. They are Olympic champions and world record holders, so this costume is a tribute to them. This contestant carries Dutch pride in her DNA too. She has deep roots in the country. She's won the gold, or so we're told, Netherlands. Nicaragua. This costume is a tribute to the creator of ceramics, Gregorio Bracamonte, who is originally from Nicaragua. He dedicated his life to the rescue of pre-Columbian designs carved in clay. I believe it's quite clear, she's a ceramics pioneer, Nicaragua. Nigeria. This costume pays tribute to the strong will of women who reach their goals. It was inspired by a masquerade that celebrates Nigerian heritage and the strength women possess. This is this contestant's legacy as well, as she has very strong Nigerian heritage. If you're a woman who's strong, then you'll get along with Nigeria. was inspired by Norway, Norway's winter landscape. 
It features a white feathered collar, representing snow-covered trees. This contestant designed the entire outfit and even glued the crystals onto the bodysuit herself. She would know about all things Norway. Based on her heritage DNA results, she's a Norway Norwegian as they come. <laughs> if you're looking for snow, you need to go to Norway. In 1940, public buses known as Shivas added an upgrade to Panama's transportation system. The buses were painted the national colors of blue, white, and red, and vinyl ribbon tassels adorned their rear view mirrors. It's no fuss to be dressed like a bus in Panama. Paraguay. Feast your eyes on this Paraguayan hummingbird, the Mainambi. The custom features a convertible dress with double wings, illuminated with LED LED lights. It uses recycled fabrics and emphasizes sustainability. <laughs> Haven't you heard? She's wanta hummingbird. Paraguay. Born at the foot of a volcano and representing the strength and courage of Peruvian women is this queen of the Andes. She's honoring her flag and city by bringing the world a message of unity and peace. It isn't a drag to honor your city and flag like Peru. Philippine mythology, 
The Bakunawa is a dragon that swallows the moon and causes eclipses. The golden lunar dragon, seen here, is Bakunawa's final form and a metaphor for this contestant's personal evolution. The mystery is solved. This dragon has evolved. Philippines! This costume was inspired by Polish folk culture. The top is a decorated embroidered white corset and colored stripes adorn the outer part of the dress. A flower wreath headpiece completes the look. If you like Polish looks, this is one for the books. Poland. Portugal! This jewel costume is inspired by an iconic folk tale in Portugal, the Rooster of Barcelos. The bird symbolizes faith and hope, values synonymous with those raised in this country full of hardworking people. My heritage reveals she has strong roots in Portugal, with a dash of Scandinavian, North African, and Nigerian. If your fate needs a booster, check out this rooster, Portugal! Puerto Rico! This creation is a tribute to both Mother Nature and the Puerto Rico dance, Bamba. It carries a message of awareness and conservation as bottles, caps, and plastic bags were transformed into art and musical elements. Taking a stance on conservation and dance, Puerto Rico. Romania. This costume honors Queen Mary of Romania, the granddaughter of British Queen Victoria. She came to a foreign country at a very young age and fell in love with the Romanian people and their heritage. She was the greatest queen they've ever seen in Romania.
Russia. The Tatars are the largest ethnic minority group in Russia, and this creation is based on the costume of a famous Tatar queen. It is a modern interpretation of a classic outfit, which includes gold sewing, velvet, lace, and silk. This modern creation is a regal sensation. Russia. Singapore. This costume includes her country's familiar landmarks, recent notable incidents, favorite foods, and pop culture references. Everything is set into a map of Singapore and in the national colors of red and white. Let's get all, let's all clap for this modern map of Singapore. Slovak Republic. Veronica's colorful heritage stretches from the Adriatic Sea to the fjords, and her stylized costume is decorated with stones and features her country's colors. Inspired by central Slovakian folklore, it is decorated with embroidery you'd see in the region. The vests are still being worn there today. It's the best when you wear a vest like Slovak Republic. South Africa. This white bodysuit, complete with subtle printed feathers, serves as a base for the arms, which are covered in white pheasant feathers to transform Miss South Africa from a contestant into a dove of peace. Her heritage also represents the coming together of nations across Africa. A pheasant feather can bring us together in South Africa. Up next, we have Spain. It's been 95 years since the death of Spanish architect Antonio Gaudí. This costume was inspired by the architect as the contestant has transformed into the salamander from one of Gaudí's most famous works of art in Barcelona. Sarah's My Heritage DNA results point to origins in the north of Spain, not far from Gaudí's. It looks like a wizard turned her into a lizard. It's Spain.
Sweden. Representing her deep Nordic roots, this contestant is paying a regal tribute to the Royal Kingdom of Sweden. In honor of the 70th Miss Universe and 70 years of diplomatic relations between Sweden and Israel, it was designed by Israel's own Aviat Herman. She still is loyal to those who are royal. Sweden! Give it up for Thailand. Muay Thai or Thai boxing is a traditional martial art you'll find throughout Thailand. This costume and hand wrap is crafted with elaborate tri-collar woven rope that symbolizes the unity of the Thai nation. Her costume is as unique as her ethnic mix, which spans from the Far East all the way to the British Isles. It's pretty dope to box while in rope like Thailand. The Bahamas. This costume is a tribute to the first indigenous people of the Bahamas, the Lucayans. The Lucayan women were known far and wide for their beauty, but more importantly, for carrying on royal lineage. This contestant still loyal to natives who were royal, the Bahamas. Turkey. This dress is an interpretation of traditional Turkish culture, which many credit with creating the first rugs, fabrics, and carpets. The golden yarn is an ode to the sun, and the dress was handwoven by a Turkish designer. This contestant's origins weave Turkish heritage with elements from Central Asia, Italy, and even China. We'd like to stress, it's a hand-woven dress. Turkey! Ukraine. The beauty of Ukrainian embroidery inspired this costume. The frame skirt is decorated with embroidered hoops. The corset was made from natural wicker and the background symbolizes the traditional Ukrainian towel. 
If you like to embroider, you shouldn't avoid her. Ukraine. Up. This leading lady is dressed up as a Hollywood Golden Globe, complete with a gold cap and ensemble. She's all glammed up and ready to walk the red carpet. She's on par with an A-list star, USA. has been Venezuela's national flower since 1951. A symbol of a woman's grace, beauty, and femininity. This flower served as the inspiration of this custom. The large white orchid is set on a three-foot structure. If you're looking for a flower, as high as a tower, see Venezuela. Let's hear it for Vietnam. Bon Ted is a delicious dish that nourishes the heart and soul. Made with purple rice and wrapped tightly in banana leaves, it's a communal dish that has nurtured many generations. That purple rice tastes oh so nice in Vietnam. <laughs> 